That's right. It's the Hip Hop Unboxing. The Hip Hop Unboxing. Here we go. Attention, everyone. Hip Hop Unboxing starts now. I forgot to tell you guys to give me a beat in the background. When you get a chance, please give me a beat. Okay, thank you, guys. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Beat in the background. And we are going to start off. We're, we're going to start off. I always try to start off with the sneakers only because... Uh, then we can put them there, and they just kind of sit there for the rest of the unboxing. So I think I know what these are. I'm not 100. Nope. Yep, I do know what these are. So we 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 do get new things. Everyone asks me, you know, at the Hip Hop Museum, do you only take old stuff? No, we take new things that are, you know, done by cool classic artists. And one of the coolest, most classic things that was done recently is a collaboration between Vans and A Tribe Called Quest. A Tribe Called Quest as everyone knows, will obviously no longer be, you know, touring. Rest in, peace, Fife, rest in peace, Fife Dog. And what we have here today on the show, and uh, I think these are the second most sexy pair of vans that were released. We have the Bonita Apple Bums. And the Bonita Apple Bums, Bonita, Bonita, Bonita. 36, 24, 37. Oh, it's 38. 38, 24, 37. If you've ever listened to the song, those those lyrics are in the song. Because why? Those are the dimensions of Bonita. Okay? Uh, on the back, we have the iconic Tribe Called Quest characters. Uh, I, 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 I always do this because I'm weird like that, but... Oh, God, I love that smell. Does everyone smell their sneakers? I'm, or am I the only one? Look at the tongue. I love the tongue. Camera's not doing it justice. Thank you, Davey. He's, Davey Fresh is 100 right because he, he's, he's a kick's head, and he knows that these are, these are what is it? What is this, crust velvet? This is lovely. This is, this is fabulous. And look at, it's kind of like suede. Yeah, it's a little suede. And we got A, T, Q, C, C, Q, I mean, little guys. This is nice. We like this. This is good. I love when the collabs are dope. You know what I'm saying? Because i got to be honest with you. Sometimes the collabs are not dope. And then sometimes they are dope. And uh, just to let you know, we have uh, The Greatest Day in Hip Hop. I put this magazine on our set only because it's a play off of the jazz uh, picture that was taken by uh, one of the most famous jazz photographers of all time. Uh, whose name eludes me, but this was uh, a picture that, that attempted to get all of the greatest hip-hop artists all together, um, and they're listed there on 1998, uh, September 29th, 1998, and try to get them all together. I'm sure they missed a few. A few were missed when they did that famous jazz photo. Uh, and I wish I could... Uh, I I uh, Amon, if you could... Uh, if you Yes, thank you. If you want to Google uh, the, the parks, I think... Uh, Last name Parks, photographer. Gordon Parks. I believe Gordon Parks was the photographer for The Greatest Day uh, jazz rendition. This is incredible. That is truly, truly remarkable. And what's beautiful about this is that it's across two stoops. And that on the back of it, where I'm looking, uh, the stoops are empty. And uh, all of the names that are featured are all listed there. And so that's a, that's a really incredible piece. Um, really incredible piece. And uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll have that blown up for the Hip Hop Museum, you know? Have that picture of everyone kind of blown up and put on the wall. I think I have to move this over here because I think it's trying to move. All right, here we go. Up next, coming in from... Let's see. Round Lake Beach, Illinois. Round Lake Beach. And do you know why they call it Round Lake Beach? Because the, uh, the beach is around the lake. What were you thinking? I am so excited about this. I didn't think this was coming in yet because he said publicly on his Facebook page that he wasn't sending these out yet. So I think he kind of knows about the Hip Hop Museum. Check it out. Am I black enough? Schoolie D signed. That 
is one of the most iconic albums and rappers really of all time, not just because of PSK, but because many, many agree that Schooly D was the first gangster rapper. Ice T bit his song, and um, I don't know. It's debatable. There's definitely there's definitely a debate. Definitely a debate that could be had because uh, you know who else claims that they were the first uh, gangster rapper was uh, Spoony 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 D. Spoony D claims to be the first. Spoony D. I was trying to think of it. I became Rain Man there for like a second. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go right for. The gusto. So this is going to be one of the one of the biggest unboxings. If this contains what I think this contains, this is going to be one of the biggest unboxings that we've ever done. Only because I found a gentleman in Canada who was just as hip hop nerdy as I was. And if this is from him, hold on, and just look at it and tell you, can't I? Niagara Falls, New York. This is not from him, but. If one of these is from him, we are in store for a treat. No, this is from him. I guess I thought he was Canadian. He's from New York. All right, are you guys ready for this? I feel like... Thank you, thank you. Thank you, cameraman. All right. In no particular order, one of the greatest stashes ever attained by the Hip Hop Museum will now feature DJ Muggs signed Soul Assassins. Okay. How are we going to do this? I don't even have enough room for all of this. All right. Maybe we'll just... I don't know what we'll do. All right. So, AG, you're going a little bit to the left there. Now we got... I, I guess we'll have to just... This isn't going to work at all. So, all right, I'll just, here we go. Ready? There's so many. Ready? Ready? Oh, this is, it's too good. I don't even want to tell you. It's too good. Ready? 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 By all means necessary. Spokesman. KRS-One. Tagged. On the cover. Jesus Christ, you guys. Come on. Let's do it like this, one at a time. There we go. Okay. I'm not done. I'm not even close to being done. Oh. Oh my God, I'm spitzing over here. Jesus, black sheep, Drez. Bam, look at that. Okay, got two more pieces. Now, I got this because, first of all, I thought that, that, that their first album was more rare than their second album, but I thought their second album was better than their first album. And that is, of course, Organized Confusion and Pharaoh Monch. So Fudge Pudge, you know, really considered one of the rarest, you know, vinyl, you know, pressings. And this is, this is, this is that album. Okay. Keep the beats rolling, because we got more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't believe we got this, you guys. This is one of those things that, that you see online. I'm like trying to hide it. See online, and you go, no, nah, he'll never give this up. He'll never donate this to the museum. It's too good. I'm going to hide it. Ready? Ready? The I N C O. The I, the N, the C. Now I'm not done. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, right? It's a little dope. Nah, nah. It's not dope enough. Do you know what I mean? It's not dope enough, man. I got more dopeness for you, man. Don't you know? Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Master Ace. Translucent vinyl. Now a part of the hip hop museum. This is stuff, you guys. This doesn't exist anywhere in the world. OK? 
okay? Except the Hip Hop Museum, okay? So make sure you come down, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you come and, and, and check out a lot of this history. And if you're a young person who's not familiar with all of this stuff, I say all the more reason. You know what I mean? All the more reason to come down and learn about where hip hop came from and how it got to where it is right now, right? You wouldn't try to be a professional basketball player and not know who Dr. J is, right? Okay, yes. You know, don't be right all the time. He said, yes, they will. Well, listen, the point is you don't want to do that, right? You want to know who your forefathers were. You want to know who your OGs are, you know? You want to... Uh This is coming in from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it is in New York. Uh, geez, Louise. Yeah, unbelievable. This guy, the person threw in a record case for no reason. Thank you. That's appreciated, I guess. But the real reason we got it is because the show, myself, we're all friends with this individual here in the D.C. area. He is a hip-hop staple in the DMV, but he is also the brother of Pete Rock. That's right. I and I, Fake and Jax, Grap Lova is my friend. And he will be signing this for the Hip-Hop Museum because this was produced by Pete Rock. And this record, I and I, Fake and Jax, comes from an album that is considered to be the most bootlegged album in the history of hip-hop that's a fact okay two last items two last items this is coming in from crozet Cro crozet virginia c-r-o-z-e-t i'm sure it's not a french pronunciation i'm sure it's not crozet 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 hey y'all coming in from crozet Sorry, I didn't mean to insult all of my fans from Crozet. I love you. Just don't make me touch your Crozet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm, like, thinking to myself, man, it's vinyl, but why is it so heavy? Why is it so heavy? Why is it in so incredible? Why is our city so awesome for having a resource like the Kennedy Center. Why are we so lucky to have Q-Tip as the hip-hop director of uh, the Kennedy Center? And why does the Hip Hop Museum now own the vinyl heavyweight edition of Nas Live with the National Symphony Orchestra recreating Illmatic? That's right. This is the entire orchestral recording of Na Nas at the Kennedy Center recording Illmatic, his debut album. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that. That's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty significant. I'm going to put that there. And now it comes to our final item. We are 10 minutes over time, and let me tell you, it has been absolutely worth it. AZ, uh, this bucket list for me. Uh, the next level with DJ Premier single-handedly, uh, you know, convinced me I need to be a producer because that's one of the greatest beats in songs like just ever in hip hop. It, is it? It's in Eight Mile. Oh my God, Davy Fresh with Hip Hop Encyclopedia. Davy Fresh. He was raised by these guys. Check his music out. It's also fabulous. Now. This is something special. I know what it is, and I purposely saved it till last. And I purposely saved it till last because my goal is, is that we will play this on air next week. And everyone's like, what the? F no, it's not even music. It's not even music. It's a game. That's right. It's a game. In fact, we have a puzzle, right? We have a puzzle from uh, Ghostface. We have Ghostface, uh, Incarcerated Scarfaces uh, puzzle, right? We have the uh, the chess set of uh, Shaolin, uh, the Jizz's chess set, okay? Yes, that's right. We have a chess set from the Jizz. Liquid Swords. Sorry, my brain's not working, okay? And now we have our first ever 
hip-hop board game at the at the museum and our intention is to actually play this board game on air next week because everyone knows that my alter ego goes by the the the, the name pork rhymes and that i am the one-line rapper and i tend to be well i don't appreciate i no i mean you know i have gone platinum multiple times i'm not sure why the laughter I mean, I take this rap game very seriously. You've heard of Buster Rhymes. You've heard of Pork Rhymes. Those are two fabulous things. Put them fucking together. All right. So what? Come on. Let's be serious for a second, guys. Come on. All right. Now I, I'm gonna open it once I show you it. But I just gotta tell you already. I'm like I gotta. I'm I'm so excited. This is maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. You guys. It's an MC Hammer wrap around. Okay, the game where you rap to win. Now, who better? Okay, so so is it hard? Is it difficult? It's difficult. Well, thank God it's difficult because we have one of the greatest rappers of all time that will be testing it out. Pork Rhymes, the one-line rapper will be here in studio next week. Those two items of, 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 of delicious snack food and, and, and Brooklyn MC, you put Busta Rhymes and Pork Rhymes together, and you get bah, bah, the most beautiful, salacious syllables ever. Ready? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Oh, wow. There's like, oh, okay. Here's the board game. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Rap. Oh, look at that. It's MC. It even says MC. Look. Woo. Wow, you guys. Incredible. Going in the hip hop museum. And then the, uh, the little questions, I guess. Look at this. The little questions come in like a little boom box. Can you see that? They come in like this little boom box. Those are like, so... You know, be cool, be hip, but don't break the law. Straw, paw, claw, draw. Well, yeah, we'll figure this out next week. Okay. And then over here. Oh, okay, cool. Comes with, uh, I guess these are the beats, right? I can't wait to hear what these beats sound like, right? And then we got the uh, the pieces here. So, all right. And then here's the, the rules. This is going to get played. They're just regular. They're not interesting little rappers. The pieces are not that interesting. All right, so there we go. All right, MC Hammer's wrap around. Wow, what an incredible show we've had here today. Oh my goodness, are we lucky, are we lucky. All of these incredible pieces for the Hip Hop Museum, I wanna send a special, special thank you to AG. And I, I want you to know how proud of you we are and impressed we are uh, of you, that you've been able to navigate the industry and, and find your, your zen and your peace out there in Japan. I want to thank my viewers, and I want to thank everyone here at Listen Vision. Uh, for myself, uh, Jeremy Beaver, CEO and founder of Listen Vision, we will catch you next Friday at 5 p.m. for the next edition of District Spotlight, where our guest will be who? Master G, the founding member of the Sugar Hill Gang. That's right. The Sugar Hill Gang's founding member, the M-A-S-N, the T-E-R-G. Master G will be here with us in studio. So stay tuned next Friday at 5. Peace.